After about 20 years in space and a slew of incredible discoveries about Saturn and its peculiar moons, the world is bidding adieu to the Cassini spacecraft. NASA is intentionally crashing at the multi-billion dollar spacecraft into Saturn. But why would they do such a thing? Well, they don't really have another option because the spacecraft is basically out of fuel. If it were allowed to continue moving on its own momentum, Cassini could crash into one of Saturn's more than 60 moons, contaminating it with earthly microbes. And according to NASA, that's a big no-no because some of the moons, like Enceladus, might actually be habitable. Enceladus is the moon we now know that has a plume of material, icy particles and vapor, water vapor, that is erupting from its southern pole, derives from a subsurface ocean. It is the best place, the most promising place in our solar system to search for life. Flying through Enceladus's geysers and detecting promising molecules isn't Cassini's only jaw-dropping discovery. A major milestone on Cassini's space odyssey was visiting Saturn's largest moon, Titan. There, it dropped the Hydrons probe on the moon's surface, landing the only machine on an alien world beyond the asteroid belt. The probe showed that the Mercury-sized moon had lakes of liquid methane and ethane and put it on the map as a possible place for life. Cassini also discovered numerous moons and even took 22 dives in the narrow gap between the planet and its famous rings, allowing Cassini to study the rings from the inside out and observe Saturn's cloud tops. During its suicidal plunge, Cassini will send back data and pictures of Saturn's atmosphere before burning up. Those images will be our last glimpse of Saturn for a very, very long time. That's because despite the planet's moons being promising places for discovering life, there are currently no new missions planned for the Saturn system.